here, so this week in LEGO Stars we got a surprising amount of news and some really random news as well. I think you can tell by the thumbnail uh, that there are lots of old things, like old sets and old shows, uh, that actually made the news this week, which is very interesting. Of course, we also got some news on the summer sets of the future, uh, but I think this one focuses on the past quite a lot, but there are some interesting things in this, uh, for the future at least, so uh, stay tuned, there is some very interesting stuff this episode. See, first up, the biggest news that came out today is the updated Summer 2022 list, and I won't go over this because I went over it in a lot of detail in a video which came out earlier today, so go check it out if you're interested. Uh, but the list is there on screen, you can pause and read it, uh, or to go check out that other video where I do do some predictions on what I think these sets will be. And again, my full predictions video will be coming out soon as long as the actual rumor list doesn't drop. What I think is the most interesting news of the week is that the Tantive 4 and the UCS Y-Wing both retired sets randomly popped up on the Australian LEGO.com site as out of stock instead of obviously retired. Um, it is now just listed as out of stock, uh, so it's come back onto the lists, which is very interesting. This stuff never happens, and a lot of people have actually speculated what this is due to being the LEGO subscription service. Now this was, uh, I'm sure some of you have heard about this, uh, I haven't really looked into it because LEGO hasn't said much about it, uh, but basically there's uh, an idea going around that people can vote on if they kind of want it or not, uh, and it's kind of like this LEGO subscription service where I can't remember if you pay year, yearly or monthly or whatever, uh, but one of the things that you could get is access to retired sets. Now that's obviously not going to be every retired set, uh, some people think that it'll just be uh, some stock of like some Nexo Knights, some videos, some uh, badly selling things, but it could also be some recent stuff. And the UCS Wyoming and the Tantive 4, I, I know that they sold well, but it, they are recent enough that I think it wouldn't make sense for them to be part of this list. Uh, now, no other sets, as far as I know, have showed up. At least the person who reported on this only noticed these sets showing up, so it could just be a human error. Uh, I don't know why that would come up though. Uh, so yeah, it is really confusing. Again, it could mean nothing, uh, but there are actually a lot of implications for such a simple mistake. The really interesting and random thing is that the LEGO Styles Freemaker Adventures show has been taken off Disney Plus around the world. So not like just in the US, but around the world. Uh, now the shorts are still there, which basically have just snippets of the show. Uh, but yeah, the show's actually been taken off, which is really weird. Uh, I'm sure, I, I know the DVDs exist, but I don't know many people that would have those. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. I know that it's not the most popular show out there. I personally watched it like recently-ish and I did actually kind of enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, it is kind of sad news, but again, I, I wasn't planning on watching it again and I don't know anyone who was planning on watching it who hadn't seen it already. Uh, so really, I don't know if it's so devastating and really I don't know the reason of it. Uh, that's again the most interesting thing. Uh, does it mean season 3? No, it doesn't. Uh, that's definitely not happening. Uh, but yeah, it's just again really random because Disney Plus doesn't really take things off uh, Netflix does a lot, but Disney Plus doesn't so really interesting why this has come off Hopefully it comes back soon, but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't It's of the upcoming LEGO Stars the Skalka Saga game got an update this week, which is finally great uh, Like seriously, we've been waiting on this game for so long uh, But basically it's actually about the release date, which is great again take this all with a grain of salt because this game has been delayed so much uh, so I would not be surprised if it was delayed again, we'll probably see it in like 2027 by now honestly. Uh, but yeah, basically this game is now expected to be releasing between April and May, that's when the developers are expecting to release the game. I think May 4th does make the most sense for the release though, because you know, if you're going to do it around there, you might as well do it on May 4th. This week, Greek Bricks, you may know as the person who rumoured the Republic Fire Tank did a Q&A where someone did ask, is the Republic Fire Tank coming, to where he just said that he basically has no updates and that it's honestly haunting his dreams, which does make a lot of sense actually. Uh, but yeah, basically no update on that, he doesn't know any other details, so again, we don't know if that set's actually coming, just a little update on that. Uh, he was also asked if Clone Troopers will be coming uh, in the summer 2022 wave, he said I think yes. Again, that's like an I think thing, so he could have nothing on that, and that could just be his guess. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, again, since he did rumour a few stuff, I think it's important to take stuff like that. Uh, not to do it like a video on it, but just to mention it here, because it is kind of interesting. And yeah, I 
am kind of expecting clones to be coming in the summer anyways like if we do get attack of the clones 20th anniversary sets then there'll definitely be at least one in some of those sets so yeah uh, I guess that's a bit of a little update there at least some breaking news which actually just came in while filming uh, sadly the New York Toy Fair 2022 has been cancelled uh, and you may be thinking why am I covering that uh, but basically Lego did say uh, that they would be revealing products there, which is, so that is kind of disappointing. I was kind of expecting uh, that that would be where they revealed the Boba Fett's Palace and the March sets, so I guess LEGO won't be revealing them there now if they were planning on doing that, but they could be still revealing it on those days and maybe uh, that'll be coming next week anyways. Speaking of next week, what do I expect next week? Again, as I just said, kind of maybe the official reveals of those March sets. I don't think just yet, probably the week after next week will be when we see that. Again, the official images last year uh, did come out on January the 20th. Uh, so again, could be next week, could be the week after. I'd say the week after is probably more likely. And then more detail on the summer sets uh, could definitely come out. We could even get that full rumor list, uh, but I'm really not sure. But yeah, that has been this week in LEGO Star Wars. So yeah, pretty interesting week. Lots of, again, like some old things popping up, which is very interesting. Uh, some unexpected things, which is great. Uh, I love when like an unexpected story comes out, which you could like never predict. Uh, that's definitely the most fun thing to cover. However, yeah, that'll be all today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all, folks. Goodbye.